This video demonstrates how easy it is to automatically generate prototype applications that include social network interaction from VPN models using WebRatio. We will see WebRatio at work on a running example where a company wants to collect feedback from social networks regarding a new product to be launched on the market. The process is defining WebRation using the standard VPML notation. The example process allows the product manager to post invitations to people on Facebook. Invitations will include a link to a post on a company Facebook page about the new product, and people can submit their feedback as Facebook likes and comments. After some time, the system gathers from Facebook all the comments so that the company can find them within the enterprise system and apply the appropriate decision-making process upon them. The behavior of each activity in the process can be specified further by means of a different model called application model. The application model is specified according to WebML, a visual modeling language that defines the user interface aspect of the application and the connection to data sources and services implementing the application. The application model consists of diagrams comprising components that define the UI widget connected through arrows that define the navigation flows from the user. Links also carry around application parameters between components. Furthermore, the model may contain operation components that define the business logic. For instance, this application model describes a dashboard interface that allows to start a new process instance, to take an activity in charge or to resume a suspended activity. The dashboard is composed by a searchable list of activities and processes that the user can start and by a social login and Facebook button. WebRatio lets you deploy custom prototypes from VPM and application model in one click, and so it allows you continuous interaction and feedback with the customer. This is the user interface automatically generated by WebRatio. The user logins and is, re is redirected to his dashboard. He can log in with his Facebook credentials. This is obtained by redirecting the user to the Facebook website where he can confirm his authorization. The user can start a new process instance and therefore he also starts the activity called Find People on Facebook. The model of the activity contains components for retrieving his Facebook friends and letting him choose the one he wants to set as the recipient of the invitation. This is the generated UI for the activity model before. The user starts a new process. Searches people on his Facebook friends list and asks them to invite his list. Now the activity is finished and the invitation message is ready to be posted on Facebook. This is performed in the next activity called Post Message on Facebook. This activity allows the user to write a new status he wants to post. Post it in his wall. And posts an invitation and a link on the wall of his invited friends. The generated application allows posting the message and behaves according to the model. Now we can check what is going on on Facebook. We can see the new post on the Product Manager personal wall. The Product Manager message and the link to the post is also published on the Invited Friends walls. Each invitee or any other Facebook user can leave a message or like this post. The process is set to sleep for a custom amount of time, allowing the invited users to interact on the Facebook platform through likes or comments in the post thread. 
After some time, a new activity called Check Likes and Comments is available on the Product Manager dashboard. The activity allows the user to analyze the posts he has published and the related comments and likes. Based on the analysis, the product manager can take some decisions on the product marketing and commercialization. And that closes the process. All of that is possible thanks to WebRatio. Thanks a lot for your attention and please find more at www.webratio.com.